I'm Ryan with Ring Brothers, and this is a 1972 K5 Blazer named Rascal. We just finished this one up. It's covered in bashful blue is the uh, BASF color that we chose for this vehicle. And uh, it's got matte details with uh, silver pinstriping to separate the matte from the gloss. But uh, starting at the front of the vehicle here, uh, it's our carbon fiber functional hood. Got vents in the, uh, in the top of the hood on the other side of the cowl there. We've massaged the fenders to match the hood, to match the cowl, to match the doors. Got all the, the gaps exactly how we want them. And we smoothed the whole side of this vehicle. So, so many times on the, the stock blazers, you'll see where the panels meet, they kind of cave in and uh, create a little valley at all the seams and it just doesn't look right. So we straightened all of these panels and made them just totally flat down the side. It really, really sharpens up the look. Uh, we opened the wheel wells to accommodate a larger tire size as well as longer suspension travel. One of the things that you'll see on a, on a stock blazer and so many of the ones that um, you know, are, are reconditioned as they do not have a chrome grill. So AIH did an amazing job on this grill, laser straight. They filled in any of those little imperfections that uh, that you see in, in your factory grill, um, coated it in copper, sanded that out, nickeled it, then chromed it, and uh, put a mirror show shine on it, and they just did an incredible job. Um, our grill has got silver accents as well on the face and that um, mat on the inside. The bumper, we massage that as well to tuck into that uh, grill and fenders just how we want it. Um, that same V that you see in the hood that goes down onto the grill and across the bumper, all of those things were moved very small amounts, but uh, when you put them all together, everything just flows so much nicer. So we we're real um, considerate of this angle here down the center and how that flows into the rest of the vehicle. LED headlights, of course, on the side, we've got our Ring Brother marker lights, front and rear. Those are chromed as well by AIH. They did all the all the plating on this vehicle. Uh, on the wheels, so they may look like stock wheels. They are actually custom-made wheels for this vehicle to look stock, but they are a custom-machined wheel with the proper offsets that we needed and the uh, size that we wanted to accommodate uh, the tires that we were running on this vehicle. Side deflectors we custom made. You get a little bit of howl sometimes if you have, have nothing there. So this just helps protect the, uh, the driver and front passenger from getting kind of that vibration of wind. It really does an amazing job bringing it around and it actually helps out the people in the back as well. Got our Ring Brothers mirrors. We removed the outside door handle and the inside door handle. Both functions are achieved by this top handle here that we put in the top of the door. So we built this whole roll bar and top system from scratch. So that roll bar comes behind this A-pillar and goes all the way down to uh, through the floor to the chassis there. And this is, this is tied in and uh, molded in with that A-pillar. So you don't have just this giant roll bar hanging out uh, blocking your view. It's right part of the A-pillar. And speaking of this roof, so this is a canvas uh, cloth covered roof and it actually separates right here with four bolts. You can remove the front section and additional uh, four more bolts, you can remove that, that rear section. On these blazers, when you remove the top, typically you're left with the box being about here and the door being higher. All this has been extended up. So the door we capped in the top and then we capped the top of the box. And that goes all the way back around the tailgate. That's all been extended and up the other quarters. So we're all at the same level all the way back. And coming around the, uh, the far back of the vehicle, We've got the Ring Brothers taillights and our, our tailgate that we made custom for this vehicle again. We brought that height of the box across the tailgate and then it dips down. All right, here on the uh, inside of Rascal, we have an amazing interior put together by our good friend Steve at Upholstery Unlimited. Um, but what we're looking at on the dash, so this is our Ring Brothers uh, dash and bezels with Dakota Digital instrumentation. Um, of course, we've got it in blue to match the uh, bashful blue on Rascal here and uh, Alpine stereo in the center. On these dashes, uh, this one is, is black with the uh, raw machine highlights. Also, uh, our light switch we came up with for this vehicle. 
that center section that's ours as well. Uh, that's the Ring Brothers center section for these uh, blazers and trucks. Ring Brothers glove box door. Again, all of these in black with that raw machining. We've got vintage air, uh, got the stereo. All of that is all cased in Ring Brothers dash components and then topped off with one of our new Ring Brothers steering wheels. This is just such a cool wheel. This is all billet in here. We painted it to match the, uh, the interior. The uh, center section, that's a 3D printed uh, stainless polished uh, horn button for this vehicle that, uh, that really sets everything off nice. These seats are actually from a first generation Blazer, so they're wider. Um, the ones that would have been in this vehicle were a little narrower and frankly not quite as comfortable. And then also this center console that we made for this vehicle uh, is is deeper, taller, and um, and fits in there perfectly between those seats. The interior is trimmed out and these are our Ring Brothers um, bolt bezels, washers that are machine anodized. Uh, and then we've got stainless hardware in them. Of course, you can see them on the floor. You can see them throughout the vehicle. The uh, side panels, these are all made. The floor was made in, in aluminum and we put our provisions for amplifiers, uh, speakers, all our wiring all runs through these box sides. These pull off, you can get to the stereo, you can get to the wiring that, that uh, goes those places you need them to without having to disassemble you know, the entire vehicle to get there. So the door panels on this vehicle are, are pretty interesting as well. What we did is essentially remove that top section and uh, massage this, this top of the door to the shape and dimension that we wanted. So we're, we're a little wider up here, it flares out to meet that A pillar and then it, it tapers through that door handle all the way to the back where it meets the box side. So we retained that factory uh, bead around the perimeter, but we had to change the shape just a little bit to accommodate the flow that we wanted to have with it. So that was left, that outer perimeter was left there, but everything else was cut away from the inside and completely fabricated from scratch. Uh, of course, we don't have windows, so we have all this extra room in here, but we were able to put this, this nice dish in here with a little map compartment, another speaker, and not have to worry about window cranks, door handles, any of that function, so we could get that extra room and have a little extra detail in there. Uh, Steve went ahead and used a gray stitch on this, again, back with the theme that we've got going on with that bashful blue, the gray and silver, and the black. We've got the black hardware, we've got the, the gray thread uh, against that blue and, and tie everything together, you know, real nice. The beading on the lower part of the door here and on the, on the seats is in that same gray, and you know, that plays off of the floor, which plays off of the pinstripe. You know, everything kind of flows together, and that's really what we're after when we do any of these vehicles is that everything makes sense. It looks like we thought about it and planned out how we're gonna do the paint, how we're gonna do the interior, what hardware we're gonna use, um, wheel choices, all of those things need to be thought about and considered before a decision is made. And we play off of play off all of those things throughout the, throughout the entire vehicle. So under the hood on this K5, we've got a Wagner LS3. Uh, it's pushing like 400 and 65 horsepower, so it's really gonna move this blazer down the road and that's that's gonna be a lot of fun for them. We've got Wagner's valve covers on this vehicle and then we massaged and spent a lot of time on the on the firewall and the uh, the wheel tubs on this vehicle. So what we did, normally that, that lip back there just drops off and then kind of returns back to the firewall and we like to smooth that out, uh, close that off. So we, we cut away uh, that section that was there from the factory and and massage that back to the firewall. Just It just really smooths everything out. We've got a booster on this vehicle with the master cylinder that's mounted onto the firewall. This panel over here, that's access to the HVAC system, to that vintage air, uh, air conditioning system. So any service that would need to be done can all be done behind that panel. This is the underside of that Ring Brothers uh, functional carbon fiber hood with the uh, functional vents that I, that I spoke about. You know, it cleans up the underside of these hoods so well. There's no spa welds. There's no overlapped stamped steel. It just, it really looks nice when you pop the hood on these. And of course, that's being held up by our uh, black airframe Ring Brothers hood hinges for this vehicle with our with our gas struts that are specifically engineered for the, for the carbon hood. So it closes beautifully, opens like a dream, and, and it'll stay in position wherever, wherever you want it to be. 
So this Blazer has a Roadster Shop RS4 chassis underneath it. It's an awesome chassis. They got Dana 44, Dana 60 uh, axles. We got Fox coilovers. Uh, they allow 10 inches of travel in the front, 12 in the rear. Those Fox shocks are, are just great. And they, this thing, you know, when we drove it over here, we both commented on uh, just how nice this vehicle rides. And I uh, can only imagine its off-road capabilities with, with that setup. Um, got splined sway bars. Uh, there's charcoal accents. There's billet adjusters. There's uh, billet tow hooks on this chassis. You know, Roadster Shop does such a great job with uh, their design and engineering in these chassis that, that you know, it's a pleasure, pleasure to work with. So the exhaust system on this vehicle, three inch stainless exhaust and we custom fabricated all the way back after the headers. Uh, we've got heat shield products, header wrap in a uh, kind of a bronze Kevlar and that stuff is just awesome. You know, it uh, protects our paint, protects any uh, fuel lines, brake lines, anything that's anywhere near that exhaust uh, we've got that heat shield product on there, and it just does a does such a wonderful job. Um, the entire vehicle, even though we don't have windows, we still want it to be a comfortable, uh, smooth ride. So underneath all that beautiful upholstery, uh, we've dynamated every square inch of this vehicle. The firewall up under the dash, under the floor, inside panels, box sides, inside the tailgate, inside the doors, all of that has uh, a nice smooth layer of dynamat and you'd be surprised on how quiet it is in that vehicle, even though we don't have windows. You know, this entire vehicle, uh, you know, when we were building in the fab shop, uh, you know, there's a lot of welding, a lot of cutting, um, and a lot of fabrication that goes into these things. And honestly, we couldn't do it without, uh, without great equipment. And Miller welders, you know, we've used them since we started. And I tell you what, if it's working with aluminum, working with steel, um, that Miller TIG welder that, uh, that we run on a, on a daily basis. We've each got one in one of our bays and uh, you know, we're as intimately familiar with that welder that's at our workbench as we are anything else. And uh, it just makes, makes life so much easier for us. All right, I wanna thank you guys for checking out this vehicle with us today. All the products that we talked about today on this, on this vehicle are all available on our website, ringbrothers.com. If you have any questions about fitment, uh, or your vehicle, Blazer or otherwise, uh, check out our website, give us a call. Uh, you can call the shop anytime. We've got staff that are more than happy to talk to you about your project and what we can do with our products to make that project come together for you just the way you want it to be. So hit up our website, check us out on social media, and I thank you for stopping by.